Good morning. Here are the headlines for today. CCRIF receives 4.7 million from EU to subsidize parametric insurance program. Cuba China signs agreement to develop anti cancer immunotherapy. Jamaica Youth Summer Employment Program, biggest in the Caribbean. The European Union has provided $4.7 million to members of the Caribbean Catastrophe Risk Insurance Facility CCRIF, to subsidize its 2023 parametric insurance program and to enable technical assistance oriented towards ensuring the sustainability of climate and disaster risk insurance. CCRIF offers five parametric insurance products, earthquake based on modeled losses due to ground shaking, tropical cyclone based on model losses due to wind and storm surge, excess rainfall based on model losses due to the amount of rainfall. Since its inception, the CCRIF has made 59 payouts totaling $261.4 million to 16 of its member governments. The members include Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Belize, Dominica, Grenada, Haiti, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Bahamas and Trinidad and Tobago. To read more on this article by Cassandra Hermanes Sanchez, go to reinsurance.ne.ws. Representatives of Cuba and China have signed an agreement to research, produce, and develop innovative immunotherapies against various types of cancer. According to the Cuban Embassy in Beijing, the agreement was signed by the Center of Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology and the Shanghuba Joint Venture following the eighth meeting of the Board of Directors of both organizations. The agreement includes the transfer of technology for the product CIGB247 or Herbosavax vaccine and active immunotherapy for the treatment of various tumors. Shang Herba, one of the three biotechnology companies jointly established by Cuba and China, is based in Helian. According to Prensa Latin, the other joint ventures are Lucan Herber for agricultural biotechnology products and Biotech Farm, a pharmaceutical company. To read more on this article, go to CaribbeanNewsGlobal.com. Jamaican Minister of Local Government and Community Development Desmond McKenzie says the Youth Summer Employment Program YSEP, which is in its seventh year, has become the biggest initiative of its kind in the Caribbean. Addressing the launch of the 2023 YSEP, Minister McKenzie said that the program has been an important launching pod for youngsters in their preparation for adulthood. YSEP targets young Jamaicans, particularly particularly those who face challenges in finding employment and places them in various work environments. Participants gain practical knowledge and develop strong work ethics essential for their growth. YSEP also allows participants to earn during the summer, empowering them to become financially independent. This helps reduce the burden on their families and contribute to the overall economic well-being of Jamaican homes. Households. To read more on this article, go to our dot today. This was your Caribbean Vest headline news to start your day. Bonjour.